I guess this puts a little temporary pause on Le'Veon Bell, his boxing career. Anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. Bucks fans, Ravens fans, Steelers fans. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. I ain't include Chiefs and Jets because those are just like wipe out years. But anyway, Le'Veon Bell is expected to sign with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, because Leonard Fournette is unfortunately dealing with an injury. So Leonard Fournette is going to be stepping down. They said he should be back for the playoffs, though, and Bucks are going to obviously be in the playoffs. Probably going to be in the NFC Championship game at least. They did just lose Chris Godwin for the year. They just lost somebody else for the year as well. I forgot who it was. Um, so that Sunday night football game not only took a toll on the pride of the Bucks losing, what, 9-0 to zero to the Taysom Hill-led Saints, but it also took in a, an injury toll on a few of their players. But um, they get some reinforcements. Now, me being a Ravens fan, um, got to get – up close and personal looks at Le'Veon Bell uh, at least twice a year when he was with the Steelers. So knew everything that he was capable of, but seems like he was with the Steelers so long ago. That, that was ages ago. Um, but this year, he, of course, was with the Ravens for a brief period of time, and it just didn't work out. Now, I remember initially when the Ravens were interested in Le'Veon Bell, I looked and watched film on him, and I was like, ah, it's not the best fit. Because Ravens' offensive line this year is not good. Uh, they haven't been good from the beginning of the year. And it just, the way that he runs, his patient run style, just wasn't a good fit. So as long as Bucks' offensive line, they can hold up for a long time. Because you know Le'Veon Bell, he'll wait, 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 then shoot. So as long as they can do that, then he'll be good to go. Now, it's a reunion. It's a reunion. They got, the, they got a new set of three Bs on the squad because you got Le'Veon Bell. You got Antonio Brown. But this time, instead of Big Ben, you got Tom Brady. And I'm sure Le'Veon Bell is super excited, man. You know he's, he is hyped about this opportunity because this is a legitimate Super Bowl contending team that he's joining. Like, and they, while they're dealing with some injuries, they ain't dealing with injuries like the team that he was on before, earlier this year, that being the Ravens. Um, and and they, they were just there last year. And they won it last year. And they literally brought everybody back and more. So you know he's got to be feeling so good. Like, oh, man. Okay, Jake Paul, I ain't worried about you right now. I got bigger fish to fry. So we'll see how he does. Um, with the Bucks, I almost said the New England Patriots. It's because of the Brady effect. Anyway, uh, we'll see how he does with the Bucks. Um, but he's yeah, he's gonna fit right in. Um, now hopefully he again the offensive line is everything. That's the, that is the biggest thing. As a teammate, Le'Veon Bell this year with the Ravens, he was good. He was good. He was supportive. Um, all that, the whole, all the Pittsburgh stuff, you ain't got to worry about none of that. You, you don't have to worry about any, any of that stuff, any of that friction, any of the bad blood. No, that's, that's a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past. We know when he was with the Chiefs, he wasn't the biggest fan of Andy Reid. Whatever happened with them, wouldn't even worry about that either. Because, again, when he was with the Ravens, there was no drama there was no negativity. There, it, nothing. The only reason he got cut, it just wasn't a good fit. That's it. And Harbaugh and the Ravens, they gave that the little speech. Oh yeah, well, um, we we're open to bringing him back uh, in the future, but I'm sure he's probably gonna get opportunities elsewhere. And when he said that, that was like, okay, yeah, he ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. When somebody says something like that, oh, I'm sure he'll get opportunities elsewhere. Oh, okay, yeah. We know what's going on here. We've seen it before. Um, so we'll see how this situation works itself out. Um, I'm curious to see uh, how soon uh, he gets some action on the field uh, with that Bucks offense. Um, uh, he can definitely help contribute in that short passing game. Because, you know, Brady, that's, that's his style, that short passing game. Uh, he'll dink and dunk you, but then he'll take them shots too. So he, and especially on the team that he's on now, 
oh boy, with with Mike Evans and he like he ain't afraid to take the shots. He's not. Uh, and he has shown that he will time and time again. So Brady, he just got all getting all his boys together, man. I'm sure Le'Veon Bell is gonna love it there in Tampa Bay. But anyway, team keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh, and just like Le'Veon Bell is no longer when it comes to being on a team, I'm out.